so hi everyone uh welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is chloe i'm a single songwriter writer and a guitarist i'm not gonna do my whole my whole intro spiel whatever you want to call it because i think some of you might have seen the title and been a bit oh what's this about really it's i just really wanted to, to, to talk about this on my channel because it's been something on my mind for a couple days now and and I have been experiencing a little bit over the past couple of days myself I have been feeling quite down should we say about it and then something happened which I'm going to get to in a little bit so self-doubt as a musician and I'm talking about this I'm talking about this specifically in this video. I'm not gonna like go ahead and start talking about like self-doubt as a writer or anything like that. I know I do talk about that quite a lot on my channel. Not self-doubt as a writer, but writerly related content generally. Um, but I did really want to focus more on the music side of my channel today and have a little chat about self-doubt as a musician because every creative person will go through some self-doubt at some point in their lives, guaranteed. And yes, writers can experience that. However, I feel like a lot of musicians probably do as well. That's kind of why I wanted to talk about it because I'm pretty sure it's not just myself. I am sure that there are people out there that experience it as well. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because in all honesty, I just don't want to feel alone in this and I know I won't feel alone if I make this video. So I guess the whole point of this video is just to be completely honest with you and I just wanted to have a little chat and then I'm going to give you some tips to deal with self-doubt. So let's get started. So self-doubt, it has always been an issue for me um, in terms of my music life and like, I've been singing since I was seven, so that's ten solid years, ten solid years. I've been singing for a decade, and I've also been playing guitar for um, half of that, so five years. I think it's coming up to six years now, and I'm like, God, where's the time gone? And in all honesty, I really don't get the time to sit down and play my guitar anymore is quite sad because for Christmas I would really like to be able to buy myself an electric guitar with money that people give me if they if they give me money like if I get Christmas money I'm gonna be putting that money towards getting myself an electric guitar because I want to make that transition um, because acoustic and electric are very different um, but I'm not going to get into that quite yet. Um, electric is more for lead, um, acoustic is more for rhythm. You can play lead on uh, acoustics, it's just a little bit difficult. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now though because I want to focus on this. So I guess I have been like doubting my abilities ever since I've kind of started this music journey. Music has always been a big part of my life and that is why I'm doing a music course this year and it feels so right. I feel like I fit in perfectly. There has because so over the last couple of weeks I haven't really felt like I fit like I fit in. However, I'm now starting to like find myself um, and figure things out and I feel like I am kind of slotting in perfectly now. I don't know if I ever will like really fit in, um, it's just one of those things where um, you know I want to be able to stand out a little bit um, because obviously I being on a music course I am surrounded by musicians and like, guitarists and singers and songwriters, people that can do the same thing as me possibly even better and I think that's what makes 
me doubt myself even more knowing that others may be able to play better than me and I think this is the problem that I have when it comes to music I have this really bad comparison thing and I'm not entirely sure how to shake it off um, but it has affected me for a while like I will listen to music and the musician will have like an amazing voice, the singer will have an amazing voice and I'll instantly compare myself to that. I will instantly compare my voice to theirs when my voice is like completely different. Right now I'm sounding a little croaky. It, I guess it probably did start when I was seven years old, which is quite sad because how can a seven year old have those feelings? But I guess the more I grow up and the older I get, it's just going to get worse if I don't push myself out of my comfort zone. And I think that's my issue. I am too comfortable. And if you've seen The Greatest Showman, you know that comfort is the enemy of progress. And believe it or not, I am slowly making progress on this course already. I'm already talking to people it's only been two weeks, guys. Like, I don't usually start talking to people this early, but, like, they seem to get me. They seem to understand where I'm coming from. And I feel like I'm not too forceful either. I'm just kind of letting the friendships that are growing just flow. I'm not, like, forcing anything. And I think... That's the key thing, that's going to be the key thing this year, and hopefully this year is going to be a good year. It hasn't gone off to a good start, but I want the rest of, the, I want the rest of this year to be a good year. I'm having trouble really focusing on the camera. And generally, just being surrounded by musicians, I think, is probably the best thing for me because, like... I can talk to them about a lot more things but I wouldn't have necessarily talked about last year because obviously I was on a foundation course last year and it was a mess. It was a complete mess and by the end of the year I just really wanted to leave. I wanted to be done with the course and I wanted those friendships to be over whoever this year. I want it to be different and I think it's going to require a lot of hard work however the key word I'm using for this college year is rewarding and at the end of and at the end of every single week I am going to reward myself with something um that being watching a movie or I don't know, like coming up with a new story idea or something like that, something that I, something that I would like as a reward for completing the week and that hopefully that's going to push me to work a lot harder and see that hard work as more of a good thing. Um, because it is a good thing, like working really hard on something is really good um, and I just have high hopes. I have really high hopes for this year. I really want it to be a lot better because guys, just last year was big, like it was a big mess and I don't want to go back to that place where I'm like depressed and really anxious again and having panic attacks in college, like nah. It has to stop. Um, so going back to self-doubt, when I guess it kind of ties in actually because when I get anxious and depressed, I doubt myself a lot more, and it means that I my performance in college is not going to be as good as it would be if I didn't have that self-doubt, um, and I think that is really important. Like. If you're having those issues and you feel like you can't talk to someone, you don't necessarily have to talk to someone about it, but just don't let it bottle up. And I just think that self-doubt 
it's so important not to let it all stay in your head and I actually have some tips for you guys because I thought that it would be useful because some of these have worked for me so far some of them I have not tried yet which I am going to these tips might not work for you you might need to find something different that works for you however these are four tips that I have come up with that I've either tried or I'm going to try so let's get into the tips so, tip one is to jeez. so tip one is to surround yourself with positivity and people that believe in you because if you don't have that if you don't have that support and you're doubting yourself you're going to feel absolute crap let's just face it you're gonna feel crap and that's not what you want so surrounding yourself with that positivity will it will help and those people that believe in you and have faith in you they will tell you they, they well they might not tell you but they definitely probably think it unless they've specifically told you that they don't believe in you and honestly if they don't say goodbye to them because you don't need them in your life at all you need to have people around you that are going to support you be positive compliment you not necessarily compliment you but like encourage you and have faith in you because those are the people you need in your life not a negativity brewing people get them out of your life like fuck them seriously get them out yeah that's tip one so surround yourself with positivity and people that believe in you or people that have faith in you what is the difference between faith and belief i'm not sure but if you know let me know in the comments down below but tip number two is to ask yourself why you started this in the first place if you're a guitarist why did you start guitar in the first place why did you pick up that guitar and start playing it and ask yourself what the purpose of that is for you does it have an influence on your life and how has it affected you in the time that you've been playing it because if it's had a positive effect on you then good on you keep playing if not then find something else that will make you happy I guess what I'm trying to say is just kind of ask yourself while you're doing this does it make you happy if it does then great keep going for it and just just ask yourself why and if it's a good reason then remember that and stay true to that and tip three actually kind of ties in with the first tip um however it's a little bit different and it is to hold on to the compliment and it is to hold on to the compliments and positivity you receive and i guess it's kind of like if you get like really positive comments on youtube screenshot it and save it in a document and then when you're feeling down just go to that document and it'll make you feel so much better because when you hold on to that kind of stuff you can go to it when you're feeling down and it will instantly get your mood back up and that is the reason for this tip also just if you don't decide to do that or it's not like a youtube comment and it's something you, that someone has said to you and it really sticks out then obviously you can remember that for when you're feeling down for example I was feeling bad yesterday Wednesday and I took some time out of class at college I was feeling bad I was doubting myself and so I just I sat out in the music lobby just kind of festering in my own thoughts which wasn't a good idea at all but then my tutor actually pulled me into the office well not like physically pulled me but like he asked 
he has to have a chat in the office and we did and he said one specific word that really stuck with me and that is that I was talented at what I do and I think that is going to stick with me for the rest of my life because you know that's the kind of thing that would Jeez, these are happy tears okay these are happy tears because I was complimented and I was told that I was talented when I was feeling down in the dumps and I was doubting myself so <laughs> that's that's tip three and moving on to tip four which is the last one and it is to write it down and get it out so you can move on and like you're not like trying to drag yourself through that you are like, moving forward at a faster pace than you would do if you didn't like write it down and if you don't want to write it down then maybe you talk to someone just kind of get it out of your system and you will feel so much better for it even if you just write it on an A4 piece of paper and then I don't know set it alight or chuck it in the bin like scrunch it up into a ball and chuck it into the bin you don't have to keep that because it might be a bad memory for you so you can chuck that if you so wish to but you don't have to keep it you don't have to keep it at all but do not writing it down will make you move on a little bit faster so there you go that is everything um and i think because this video has been quite a serious topic i'm gonna do a little light-hearted vlog with this i'm going to try and do some music this weekend hopefully we'll see i might get my guitar out and my amp i also really want to put my strap on my guitar because why not um so yeah that is it for this part of the video and let's move on to the vlog almost 10 o'clock and I don't know whether I'm gonna do a vlog or not okay so it's obviously a lot later I don't have any makeup on and I'm in pajamas um, however I wanted to quickly go ahead and end this video because I was originally just gonna tra transition it this video into a vlog however I have since changed my mind because this is bonus content I wouldn't normally post on a Monday but this week I decided I would because obviously this wasn't a topic that I really wanted to talk about and it's something I feel very strongly about so I'm not entirely sure what I was saying before however what I've learned about self-doubt so far is that it is all you self-doubt is all up here in your mind no one else would ever think that about you so just Bear in mind what others think, or if you're a bit of an anxious person, that's probably a bad idea, but just, just kind of think about if another person would feel like that about you, would they doubt you? No, because if they support you, encourage you, and accept you for who you are, they are not going to do that. So, just bear that in mind. But I do think that this is everything for this video. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe down below. And also, don't forget that all of my social media links are in the description down below. And you will all know by now, unless you're new, that Instagram is my most active place. Instagram is the place to be. To 
find out what I'm up to. Is that everything? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in Saturday's video. Bye!